Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm extremely pleased and honored to have with us today leaders from the conservation movement, uh, the movement to keep our waterways clean and protected, and as well a representative of our cultural community who really needs no introduction, Sarah Harmer. Uh, I'm going to ask each to speak for a few moments. I'll wrap up, and I believe we're going to start, if I'm not mistaken, with Meredith. Sure. Meredith Brown represents River Keepers, uh, which is a wonderful organization across Canada, and obviously one very concerned with the topic for today, which is the destruction of the Navigable Waters Protection Act within the Omnibus Budget Bill C-45. Thank you, Elizabeth. So I'm Meredith Brown. I'm the uh, river keeper for the Ottawa River and part of a network of 200 international water keepers around the world. Obviously, Canadian water keepers are very concerned about the omnibus bill and the changes not only to the Navigable Waters Protection Act, to also the Canadian Environmental Assessment Act, the Fisheries Act, our tools to protect our Canadian waters. What's happening is the federal government is relieving themselves of their duty to protect our rights to navigate every lake and river in Canada. And of course, this is a concern to us because what they are failing to do is come up with a, a plan. So if they want to fast track development and streamline processes, we're okay with that. But where is the plan to protect water? We have no national water strategy. We don't have a Clean Water Act like they have in the United States of America. So right now, our federal government is very thin on a plan for how they're going to protect your lakes and rivers. Thank you. <laughs> John Bennett, Sierra Club of Canada. Well, Canadians expect our government to protect nature. And this government has no mandate to sell out our future for a few dollars today. Um, the changes to the Navigable Waters Act are unnecessary uh, to meet the goals of this government. We could have uh, better processes for assessing uh, projects without taking away the ability to protect water. Um, the federal government signed an agreement with the United States last summer to protect water quality in the Great Lakes and it's now taking away its own ability to live up to that treaty. Uh, we think this government should withdraw the changes to the Navigable Waters Act and sit down with, a, with stakeholders and talk about how to make a system that protects our water uh, work better. That's all we need to do in Canada. We don't need to throw away the, our ability to do it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, my name is Sarah Harmer and I'm here as a musician and as a regular Canadian citizen. And I'm also here to speak for um, a couple of renowned Canadian musicians, Gord Downey from the Tragically Hip and Leslie Feist, who are also, along with myself and many other people in the cultural community, concerned about these changes to the Nav Navigable Waters Protection Act. Um, we write about the land, we travel this great country, our his history is based upon our ability to travel through our waterways. It's a huge part of our Canadian identity. As Leslie Feist says, if we lose the protection of the Navigable Waters Protection Act, we lose our opportunity to study ungoverned and unaccountable developments possible impacts to fish, wildlife, communities and lives. It leaves our waters open to exploitation by the first person to get there with a backhoe. Thank you. Talk about a tough act to follow, follow Sarah Harmer. Um, I'm not gonna say much except to say that uh, I think we all know that Canada has a long tradition of caring about our waters. The Navigable Protect, uh, the, the Act uh, dates from the 1880s. Uh, now we're going to be down from, uh, instead of protecting the tens of millions of lakes and the thousands of rivers in Canada, um, a few dozen lakes and rivers across Canada and the rest uh, will no longer have the protection under that act. As a paddler, as a fisher person, as someone from Thunder Bay who's at the hub of what used to be the uh, fur trade to the west, uh, I, this is a very sad day if we, if we actually are going to pass this act. Uh, Harper has a majority of government. He can do pretty much what he wants right now, but this is not good for Canada. I think we all know it. and. Uh, we really need to stand up and stand out and speak out on this issue. Thanks so much. Uh, some people may be wondering why we're holding a press conference on the Navigable Waters Protection Act on the morning after three by-elections, but stick with me. This is a, a legislative agenda that's barreling towards us, and I will be presenting amendments to Bill C-45 in an attempt to uh, protect the Navigable Waters Protection Act, to take the elements of C-45 that have nothing to do with 
uh, budgetary implementation, and everything to do with destroying Canada's ability to protect waterways. To, as you know, they've now put forward a schedule, so a river, if listed, is navigable. If not listed, it isn't. And they've chosen to list 62 rivers in a country with, with thousands of rivers. They've listed 97 lakes in a country with millions of lakes. Against their uh, narrative, which is that somehow the Navigable Waters Protection Act was getting in the way of cottage owners and municipalities, note where they have destroyed protection. It's where there aren't any cottage owners and there aren't municipalities. Vast areas of wilderness where the Navigable Waters Protection Act has been the only, uh, well, as well as what used to be fish habitat protection, which has also been annihilated. This is the place where across vast areas of Canada, the Navigable Waters Protection Act was the reason that you'd do an environmental assessment based on a permit required by the Minister of Transport. I think they've forgotten something. The Constitution of this country requires that the federal government be responsible for navigation. Uh, the, the current government says, well, we're only interested in navigation. We're not interested in the water. They've actually failed to protect navigation. The ability of a Canadian to take a canoe or a kayak down any stream or waterway anywhere in this country, unimpeded by obstructions to navigation, is a constitutional responsibility of the federal government to protect. In the absence of federal government action, a province can't step up and protect navigation. That violates principles of constitutional law. So we have a situation where this piece of legislation egregiously uh, takes uh, apart a piece of legislation we've had since 1882 without proper review, without discussion, certainly without the engagement of the groups that you see here today. Maintenant, nous avons un, un menace vers les eaux navigables autour du Canada avec le, le uh, projet de loi Omnibus C-45. Uh, pour moi-même, uh, je vais présenter pour les chambres de communes, dans le stage de report, quelques amendements pour protéger cette loi, pour protéger les eaux navigables au, uh, au Canada, parce que c'est important pour la navigation, mais aussi pour l'environnement et aussi Pour les, pour les Canadiens les Canadiennes qui sont euh, absolument euh, engagés avec la protection des eaux navigables.